Today we're talking power supplies, specifically MSI's ATX 3.0 PCIe 5.0 compatible A850G power supply. If you missed our review on its bigger brother, the A1000, you can check that out right here. MSI's A850G offers a solid price point for an ATX 3.0 and PCIe 5.0 compatible power supply coming in at $160 US. But if you've watched our channel before, you know that it's not about the price point. For us, it's all about the value. Can MSI deliver on that $160 and give you something that's worth your money? First off, let's talk about what it means to be ATX 3.0 and PCIe 5.0 compatible. Basically, ATX 3.0 is a new standard from Intel that essentially says your power supply needs to be able to handle up to a 3x excursion from your GPU. So what's a power excursion? Well, it's basically a small microsecond burst of power that one of your components draws. For instance, if your GPU is rated for 300 watts, you can see small bursts measured in microseconds that go well beyond that. An ATX 3.0 compatible power supply needs to be able to handle that power excursion without crashing your whole system. It also means that it's gonna come with a native 12 plus four or 16 pin as most people call it power connector. And while the 16 pin connector has gone through some growing pains and maybe made you feel like you needed to have a fire extinguisher ready. Um, most of the earlier issues were due to user error and inexperience with cable management, routing, and how to handle and plug in that connector. As always, like we like to do on our channel, while we get this thing unboxed, Let's dive into some of the marketing materials from MSI and see what they want you to know about this power supply. First off, solid job on the landing page, MSI. Stylish and modern. They want you to know straight away that you're looking at an ATX 3.0 PSU with a 16 pin connector that lets you overflow with power and can easily handle a 3X excursion from your GPU. The power supply comes packed with high-end Japanese capacitors and offers flat cables to make routing and cable manage a breeze. And something we'll touch on in a bit. They offer recommended cable layouts for whatever GPU you have right on the homepage, making initial setup a breeze. The power supply also offers a zero RPM fan mode enabled easily with the touch of a button on the back. So first I'll say we've been using the Bigger Brother 1000 watt variant of this exact same power supply for several now, months now. So I can personally vouch for its reliability and its performance. The PSU operates extremely quiet for a couple of reasons. One, with the zero RPM fan mode, the fan isn't even gonna kick in until you stress it under more than a 40% load. And even if you do put that type of load on there, um, more than likely the other components that you have, like your GPU or your CPU's fans, they're gonna kick in. Even in our water-cooled rig, um, whenever we stress it and the fan actually kicks in, we still, can't hear it at all and it's drowned out by the other components in the system. Um, the second reason is even in a completely quiet environment, the 135 millimeter fan runs extremely efficient and quietly, making for almost virtually silent operation. Another thing I love about this power supply is the size. So clocking in at 150 by 150 millimeters, it's gonna fit almost any build you wanna go with, even something like a MATX small form factor build. Um, and when you couple that with the flat cables, you'll be able to get a lot of versatility out of your system, how you want it wired and what type of case you wanna fit it in. On the topic of cables, I do, 
I do like the versatility that a flat cable offers when it comes to things like cable management um, and versatility in your build. But I will say that I feel like this is one area where MSI maybe underperforms a little bit. So the cables are nice, but with a PSU in this price range, I would love to see sleeved cables. For this power supply, the only cables that are actually sleeved are gonna be your um, native 16 pin connectors, which it comes with. There's nothing wrong with the flat cables, but if you're like me and you really value, you know, the design, the look of your system, custom sleeve cables would have been a nice touch. Now, you can always buy cable extensions or even custom full length power supply cables, which are available from Cable Mod, um, which is what we did in our build. However, if I'm spending this much, I mean, do I really wanna add another $100 or more for custom cables? So I, I do think this is an area where, while nice, and there are benefits to the flat cables, I do think MSI slightly underperforms here when a lot of the other power supplies are gonna offer fully sleeved cables, um, or at least something a little bit nicer than the plasticky flat sleeved ones that this power supply comes with. So that might be something you wanna keep in mind. Um, again, especially if you're more into the aesthetics of your build that you're probably gonna have some extra expense whenever you go with this power supply. Looking at the back of the power supply, we see a fairly standard layout for a mid-range ATX 3.0 power supply. So of course you have your uh, ATX 24 pin and connectors right here. We have four um, versatile CPU P slash PCIe connectors to hook up either your motherboard CPU power supply or your GPU's power depending on the needs. Um, of course you have the 12 plus four pin slash 16 pin connector right here, um, as well as four Molex connectors. So you have plenty of ability to power your other peripherals like fans, radiators, things like that, that might need a Molex power supply. On the front of the PSU, nothing special here. We see your standard on off power switch, as well as the switch to enable and disable the 40% um, zero RPM mode. Uh, as well as a standard power supply connector. Again, nothing really special. It is stylish, it does look good, um, and it, it really looks great in your build. MSI does some good job with the badging on the sides and the front. Uh, depending on your case, this may or may not be visible. So overall, MSI's ATX 3.0 lineup of power supplies, especially the MPG variants, um, do offer a solid value in an ATX 3.0 power supply. And I'm not just shilling for MSI. So I actually, like I said, use the 1000 watt variant of this in my everyday editing rig. Um, and this 850 watt version is gonna be going into our test bench, which we'll be using to run some tests in the future. Do you need to run out and get this? Probably not. Look, if you already have a solid power supply, Upgrading to an ATX 3.0 unit isn't really gonna offer you a lot of benefits outside of quality of life, being able to maybe simplify or run less cables, a little bit help with cable management, um, a little more compatibility with NVIDIA 40 series GPUs. Um, but again, if I'm rolling with something like a Corsair RMX series, I'm probably not upgrading to this. That being said, if you're doing a new build and you're building something completely from scratch, then yeah, uh, something like this can offer you really great value and a little bit of future proofing for your system. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to check out one of these. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out some of our other content. And as always, thanks for watching.